Hi everybody, I wanna welcome you to your Tabata pump workout for today. What we need is a barbell, but if you don't have the right barbell at your disposal, you can use a pair of dumbbells for this workout as well. Now we're gonna follow Tabata's method of exercise by creating a short circuit of eight exercises with only 10 seconds rest in between. I hope you guys enjoy this workout. Let's get into it with exercise one. Bent over row with your palms facing forward, elbows tucked in and neutral spine. Upright row straight up, leading with your elbows and protecting your wrists. Biceps curl with parallel arms with nice range of motion, keeping your elbows stationary. Shoulder press with slightly bent knees and a neutral spine. Barbell shrug by trying to get your shoulders as close to your ears as you can, circling backwards. Overhead triceps extension with a close grip and your elbows tucked in by your ears. Spider biceps curl by pressing your elbows into your knees and getting good range of curl motion.
wide grip push-ups with good range of motion, maintaining a straight plank line throughout the set. Alright guys, you've gotten through the first round and discovered your eight exercises for today. We've got three more rounds to go. Let's do this. Bent over row with your palms facing forward, elbows tucked in and neutral spine. Upright row straight up, leading with your elbows and protecting your wrists. Biceps curl with parallel arms with nice range of motion, keeping your elbows stationary. Shoulder press with slightly bent knees and a neutral spine. Barbell shrug by trying to get your shoulders as close to your ears as you can, circling backwards. Overhead triceps extension with a close grip and your elbows tucked in by your ears.
apply the biceps curl by pressing your elbows into your knees and getting good range of curl motion. Wide grip push-ups with good range of motion, maintaining a straight plank line throughout the set. Two rounds down and two rounds to go guys. Let's keep up the good work and let's keep training. Bent over row with your palms facing forward, elbows tucked in and neutral spine. Upright row straight up, leading with your elbows and protecting your wrists. Biceps curl with parallel arms with nice range of motion, keeping your elbows stationary. Shoulder press with slightly bent knees and a neutral spine. Barbell shrug by trying to get your shoulders as close to your ears as you can, circling backwards.
overhead triceps extension with a close grip and your elbows tucked in by your ears. Spider biceps curl by pressing your elbows into your knees and getting good range of curl motion. Wide grip push-ups with good range of motion, maintaining a straight plank line throughout the set. You're smashing your workout guys. Three rounds down, we got one more to go. Let's keep going. Bent over row with your palms facing forward, elbows tucked in and neutral spine. Upright rows straight up, leading with your elbows and protecting your wrists. Biceps curl with parallel arms with nice range of motion, keeping your elbows stationary. Shoulder press with slightly bent knees and a neutral spine.
barbell shrug by trying to get your shoulders as close to your ears as you can, circling backwards. overhead triceps extension with a close grip and your elbows tucked in by your ears. Spider biceps curl by pressing your elbows into your knees and getting good range of curl motion. Wide grip push-ups with good range of motion, maintaining a straight plank line throughout the set. Well done for getting through that segment. Now, we're not done quite yet. We've still got a little bit of workout to do. So we're gonna create a circuit of only five exercises this time, and we're gonna get through it in that same Tabata method. Let's go. Bench press with a nice wide grip and your lower back pressing into the bench for support. Barbell pullover with soft straight arms and 90 degrees of motion. Skull crusher all the way to the top of your head, keeping your elbows as static as you can.
standing press with your palms up, knees slightly bent and your spine neutral. Reverse grip curl with stationary elbows tucked in by your side. Alright guys, you've gotten through the first round and discovered your exercises for today. We've got three more rounds to go. Let's do this. Bench press with a nice wide grip and your lower back pressing into the bench for support. Barbell pullover with soft straight arms and 90 degrees of motion. Skull crusher all the way to the top of your head, keeping your elbows as static as you can. Standing press with your palms up, knees slightly bent and your spine neutral. Reverse grip curl with stationary elbows tucked in by your side.
two rounds down and two rounds to go, guys. Let's keep up the good work and let's keep training. Bench press with a nice wide grip and your lower back pressing into the bench for support. Barbell pullover with soft straight arms and 90 degrees of motion. Skull crusher all the way to the top of your head, keeping your elbows as static as you can. Standing press with your palms up, knees slightly bent and your spine neutral. Reverse grip curl with stationary elbows tucked in by your side. You're smashing your workout guys. Three rounds down, we got one more to go. Let's keep going. Bench press with a nice wide grip and your lower back pressing into the bench for support. Barbell pullover with soft straight arms and 90 degrees of motion.
Skull Crusher all the way to the top of your head, keeping your elbows as static as you can. Standing press with your palms up, knees slightly bent and your spine neutral. Reverse grip curl with stationary elbows tucked in by your side. Well done for getting through your Tabata workout for today, you guys. Now I'm going to hand things over to Daphne, who's going to work on some static post-workout stretching with you. Take one arm and extend it across your body. Keeping the arm straight, gently pull your extended arm from above your elbow to deepen the stretch. Remember to draw the shoulders down away from your ears. Now let's do the posterior shoulder stretch using the other arm. Raise one arm straight above you, bend your elbow so that your forearm is behind your head and reach your fingertips down your spine. Using your opposite hand, gently pull your bent elbow toward midline. Keep your shoulders relaxed and away from your ears. Now let's do the standing tricep stretch on the other side.
stand facing a wall, reach your right arm up and place the palm on the wall above shoulder height. Draw your right shoulder down and press your shoulder into the wall whilst rotating the upper body to the left. Take three to five slow breaths and try to deepen the stretch with rotating the upper body even more with each exhale. Let's repeat the standing chest stretch on the left side. Extend one arm forward in front of you at shoulder height. Keep your extended arm straight and with your opposite hand, grab onto your fingers just above your palm. Pull your fingers back to fold at the wrist with your fingertips pointing up towards the ceiling. You should feel a stretch on the bottom of your forearm and wrist. Now let's do the wrist extension on the other side. Standing up tall, bring your right hand behind your back. Use your left hand to pull your right wrist across the body. Now let's do the supraspinator stretch on the other side. Raise your arms straight above you and clasp your hands together with your right thumb on top. Reach your hands as tall as you can and bend your body over to the left. You should feel a stretch along the right side of your body. Remember to keep your shoulders down and your abdominals engaged to support your spine. Repeat on the other side with your left thumb on top, 
bending over to the right side. Great job, well done for finishing your workout today. Now guys, make sure you click here and subscribe to this channel so that you can get more workouts anytime you like. If you hit the join icon and join us as a member, then you'll get access to days 11 to 30 of every workout series as well. See you soon.